250 milliwatt uh, transmitter, uh, but this also applies to the uh, 600 milliwatt transmitter as well. I have, um, I have, uh, as you can see, I use the uh, Bixler mount. This is mounted on a Bixler 1.1. Um, take a note of my little warning there because I always forget to put the antenna in, which is necessary uh, because you could burn out your system if you don't. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, this is the this is the Fat Shark camera. This is the uh, older version. Seems to work fine. Um, I've got no problems with it, but. Uh, uh, there's a newer version out now that uh, certainly would be nice to have. Let's take a look at what all I have. When I'm done my process, I just have one cable that goes to uh, that uh, comes from my uh, battery balance port and my uh, pan and tilt um, servo leads. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, this is, uh, as I said, this is my GPS on top, my camera, my uh, 250 milliwatt transmitter, and this is the same as the immersion. 600 milliwatts, the, what I'm going to show you works for that as well. Below is my OSD uh, and the regulator that came with the uh, with the uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmitter, the VT, uh, VTX. So let's take a look, let's let's cut the cable of what I have here. And you can see this is this is my wiring bundle. I'll get rid of this here. Now, uh, if you notice, the one thing on the uh, on the 250 milliwatt and the 600 milliwatt, there is uh, a, a another Molex connector on the back, and this is what I use. This isn't in the diagram, uh, but it's actually a, a, an easy way. If you look at the charts that they supply, the documentation, it doesn't show that that exists, but it's quite handy. And this is where I tapped off my uh, ignore the colors because I just used uh, a plug set I had. This over on the right that's red is the video. The black is the negative, and the white is actually the uh, positive. So I use this plug um, to power my uh, GPS unit, uh, as well as to bring in the video uh, from the OSD. So let's take a look at this a bit more closely. Let's get rid of the servo wires. And uh, we, we can see that from the battery, uh, I have a regulator, and this is 12 volts coming out and I have 12 volts going into the transmitter and I have, I split this off so I have 12 volts going into the OSD. You can see that leave going into the OSD. Uh, and you can see that the standard cables, this is the cable from the camera, from the camera here, the black cable that goes into the transmitter and this handles the, the video, uh, the power, that this power, this is the power that goes in and powers the camera, and I then have the uh, yellow video and the audio on this one uh, on this one plug here. Uh, this is the, the standard plug, and as I said, this is the power. Now, as far as the uh, and the, as I just mentioned before, the power comes in from the power supply. Now, to install the OSD, I have these two wires here. This is from the GPS. This is goes right into the OSD. The black and white here go into the OSD unit. And the red and black, you can see I've spliced this cable. So I'm now gathering my power, like I said before, from my VTX. And I'm taking the video line and I am powering that in to the VTX uh, for my video for the OSD. That's how I get my on-screen display. Uh, that's it. That's everything. I, I hope you find this uh, useful. And um, good luck on FPV.